it can be so easy to compare ourselves to other people. In this day of social media, when we have feeds that are consistently showing us images of other people's lives and where we are sharing stories, it can be really hard to feel as though we aren't lacking in some way. I want you to stay tuned because in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my strategies for how to get out of the comparison trap and how to establish healthy boundaries that keep you loving yourself fully. For the best advice on self-care and personal empowerment, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos every Monday and Thursday. It's so easy, isn't it? I mean, we sit there and we scroll through and we are looking at images of other people, we're looking at their stories, and then all of a sudden we find ourselves in what my accountability partner and I call the compare and despair cycle, where you sit there and you're wondering, why don't I have what they have? What am I lacking? Why can't I be as good as them? Whatever your story is, I know that you know what I'm talking about. So what do we do about this? What do we do when we find ourselves in compare and despair? Well, the first thing we need to do is recognize that we are in it. Recognize when you are scrolling through and all of a sudden you are comparing yourself to other people on social media or in the media at all. Recognize when you find yourself in that moment of why don't I have what they have or why haven't I accomplished as much as they have. Notice when that tipping point happens and it takes practice to notice it. You might feel sensations in your body. You might all of a sudden start running a script in your head, but notice what that tipping point is and catch yourself in, the, in that moment. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to create some healthy boundaries around what's happening in your feeds or in the media that you're accessing. So if you are finding that a particular person or a particular type of content is generating feelings of comparison or compare and despair, creating healthy boundaries around whether or not you want to continue to follow that person maybe digging a little bit deeper to understand more about why compare and despair comes up when you look at that particular content. And then making decisions. Do I continue to tap into that or do I back off for a while? If you choose to back off for a while, notice what happens in your system. Notice if compare and despair comes up as often. And this can be an indicator as to whether or not you choose to continue following that type of content or not. Do you ever find yourself comparing to other people's lives? If so, leave your tips in the comments below. I'd love to hear how you get yourself out of compare and despair. The third thing is to notice if compare and despair is serving you in some way. And here's what I mean by that. The majority of us have things that we want to accomplish in our lives. There are things that we want to do, transformations that we want to have, shifts that we want to make. When we are in compare and despair, it immediately puts us into lack mindset, fixed mindset. When we are in fixed mindset, we can generate all of the reasons why those shifts, those goals, those things that we want to make happen in our lives aren't achievable for us. I can't do X because I don't have Y. Oh, they could do that because they had X and access to Y. Our compare and despair mindset keeps us playing small. And it's not that we have to play super big, but you can play big on your terms. You can play big based on how you define that. Compare and despair gives us permission to not even try. So compare and despair works for us because it protects us, it keeps us safe, it allows us to not try new things or not go for the big, hairy, audacious goal we've set for ourselves. So notice if compare and despair is holding you back from achieving some of the things you want to make happen in your life. It's time to stop comparing and start living your life. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos every Monday and Thursday. Stay ignited out there. I will see you soon. Bye.